Hey everyone, it's Jamie and today I have my April favorites for you and as always I'm going to be talking about some beauty products that I've been using a lot of over the month of April and since April is kind of starting into spring it's going to be a lot of like spring things or lighter colors, brighter colors and just products that I'm using to transition into the warmer weather and then also I'll be talking about some Lush products which I always do in my monthly favorites as well. So let's get started into some of my favorite beauty products for the month of April. The first things that I want to talk about I'm really excited about and they are these Chanel nail polishes that came out for the spring collection. They're very pretty. So it's these two colors. I have this pink color on my nails now and the name of it is Riviera number 537. So I love these. It's a great texture polish. They are, I think, in my opinion, worth the little bit extra that you pay for them because it's just such a great, easy, nice nail polish to apply. Very opaque. All you need is two coats. And I have a lighter pink one of these, and I can just do one coat. So I really like it. And then the other color, which I have on my toes right now, is number 527, and it's Nouvelle Vague. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's this gorgeous turquoise color, and it's different, and it's bright. The colors are very pretty for spring. Next thing I want to talk about is from MAC, and it came out with the latest collection guide. I can't think of the name of it, but it was all the grease paint sticks and the Pearl Glide eyeliners. And these Pearl Glide eyeliners are gorgeous. This is the color Almost Noir, but it's actually like a very pretty purple color with kind of like a gold shimmer to it. It's just very, very pretty, and they're very blendable as well, so I can just blend it to show you guys. They're just very pretty colors, and I have worn this all over my lid. I had this on, actually, in my Affordable Spring Fashion Trend video, so if you're interested in checking that out, it's very pretty, very smooth, nice consistency, and very blendable. I really like these pencils. The next thing is some lip glosses, and the first one is this Cream Sheen Lip Glass in Partial to Pink. It is a gorgeous pink color. It's very pretty on its own. It's more of a yellow tone really well with that Color Crafted Pink or any more yellow tone pink lipstick. Or it's, like I said, great on its own. Wonderful consistency. I really like these. The only problem I would say about this is the doe foot applicator. I wish that it had a brush applicator, but that's okay. And then another lip gloss, which I'm wearing now, that I love is the Perennial High Style from the Liberty of London. I love the package. It's very opaque. It's bright. It's spring. It's just a very pretty pink color. So I did a dry shampoo review and everybody commented that I had to try the Tresemme one. It's so nice and everybody was right. I like this better than the other two that I reviewed, which were the Urban Decay Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo and then the Frederick Fakai Dry Shampoo Powder. So this is a spray, this is a powder. These both don't smell great and they work very well on your hair, both of them, to absorb oil. But the problem I have is though it works well to absorb oil, it makes my hair staticky because it's absorbing too much of the oils. This is great. It's, they have two different kinds by Tresemme of dry shampoos. One for oily to straight hair, which I got, and it's a spray. And then they have a foam for more coarse or curly hair. And it smells wonderful like a lot of the Tresemme products, so I don't have to deal with the pledge scent or like the cotton scent of this, I guess. And it makes your hair very volumized. It like gives it texture, but it's really soft. You can't see any oil or grease in your hair. It's a really great product. I only wash my hair every other day. I take a shower every day. If you watch my hair care video, then you already know that. But that is why I'm so interested in dry shampoo. I'm really thankful that you guys recommended this to me because I really like it. And then the last makeup product that I want to talk about is actually a brush. It's by Stila. It's the number 30. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but you can do, in the morning when I'm in a hurry, I can do a whole look with this brush, my whole eye look. And it's got like a great 239 kind of type brush here on this end, so great for padding color, brightening the inner corner, highlighting the brow, and then it's got a great kind of, it's like a cross between a 224 and a 222 by MAC. It's just a nice fluffy blending brush, so it's great for blending. It's also really good for in the crease, because it's kind of smaller. So you can really darken this up very precisely and then blend it at the same time. So I really like this brush by Stila because it saves me so much time in the morning. I just grab this and go 
And I also like it because it's black and you can't really tell when it's dirty. That is it for my makeup products. Now I just have a couple of blush things to talk about. Not many exfoliate my body almost every day. You just have to be careful not to be using something that's like going to be way too abrasive. I love this Rub 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 Shower Gel by Lush. I didn't really use it a lot in the winter, um, but I've kind of rediscovered it. It has a very floral scent, kind of like flowers and then... There's also cherry blossoms, Japanese cherry blossoms in it, I think, as part of the scented oils. But it's nice for spring because you're getting that light floral scent. And then I believe it has a sugar-based exfoliant in it, so it's kind of got sugar to exfoliate. It's very light. It's not going to be too scratchy, leave you red. It's just a very nice way to exfoliate every day, and I've kind of rediscovered it for its scent as well. Next thing is the Sandstone Soap by Lush. It looks like this. It has a lemon scent. This is sand on it. And what I like about this soap is you can control the amount of sand that you put on your body by switching ends. You can do just a little bit, or you you can do a lot. I kind of just like to use this as the bar. I don't really rub this on my loofah because I do do that with Lush soaps most of the time. But this one I just rub straight onto my body. I like it. It's very refreshing. And again, it's just kind of that mild exfoliant factor that I really like about it. And then the last thing from Lush is this Sakura Bath Bomb. It smells just like rub rub rub. I'm not sure if they still have these. But I had like three of them for some reason. And I used two of them this month actually. And I really like this. This is my last one. And I know I need to use it because it's old. I got it for Christmas or before Christmas in the Art of Bathing box. But I need to use it up. And I'm really liking this Sakura floral scent from Lush for spring. So there is that. That's it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. And then the last thing is the Sakura bath bomb. And then the last thing is. And then the last. And then the last thing from Lush is the Sakura bath. But it's also really good for in the crease because it's kind of. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.